Listen. Well, food is is poison. I mean, all of it, you might assume, it, it's, it has poison in it because the white supremacists, they don't really care about longevity, apparently. And other people have said that. Uh, you know, they don't make a big deal out of that. They just like to do what they do. They mostly just like to swagger around and push people around. And uh, they'll do it as long as they can. And, you know, they're mostly bored with everything that has to do with anything else. Because that's just the way the white supremacists think. They just like to kick people around. I mean, it's for fun, for glory, and material gain. And they'll do it as long as they can and try to come up with new ways of doing it because they get bored with doing it the same old way. Uh, it, to them, it's, it's what existence on the planet is really all about. It's not about anything else. That's why they glorify violence. I mean, all the, all the food and whatnot and, and the guns and whatnot, and these are just ways of going about doing stuff, I mean, to mess with people. So they'll look at food and they'll say, well, everybody's got to eat. And since I'm in charge of all the food anyway, I mean, I think that uh, I don't want to kill these people outright, so I'll just poison the food and ship it to them. And uh, they won't know. How do they know? What do they know about anything? I mean, and I'll make it taste good. I'll put plenty of sugar in it or whatever it is will be, you know, that they can get addicted to. And they'll want it and they'll demand it. And I'll send them some soft drinks and I'll put poison in that because there's nothing but poison anyway. That's why I call it soft drinks. I mean, they can drink water. That's the best thing they can drink. But uh, I'm going to put some chemicals in this water and put it in their school so that even when they start out as young people, their minds are being poisoned. They're sitting up there nodding off in class and whatnot because it's what they go to the machines, they're going to get a whole bunch of poison because it's nothing but a whole lot of different coloring and whatnot and a lot of different water. And uh, I don't really care because, you know, and they will be functional enough to do my bidding, but they'll be mostly just kind of walking around all drugged up and uh that mm -hmm. would be my introduction to the, them getting on other drugs later yeah. on. Minimize conflict by minimizing all unnecessary or non-constructive contact. Now, when it comes to black males and black females in the north, uh, northwestern hemisphere in the system of white supremacy, you will never be able to get it the way it ought to be. Now, everybody has to understand this. We're in a prison system. So actually, all of our so-called relationships will be nowhere near what they ought to be because we are not in circumstances that should prevail. Okay. The system of racism will not allow it. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that ain't true and all like that. Well, go ahead and do what you're going to do. But the system of racism will not allow it to be the way it should be. Now, you can get it to be workable, but it's going to have a lot of defects. All relationships between black males and black females are full of flaws, real with flaws. That's going to be permanent, and it's getting worse. Mm. Look forward to that. <laughs> it's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the white supremacists have decided that they're going to set it up so it will get worse. Okay. So the black females and black males will not be able to get along with each other of, in, in harmony in the system of white supremacy. Okay. That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. That is not. And if for those who think that it can happen or that you can make it happen, you're faking it. Okay. There's a lot of things you just don't know. Mm -hmm. You're hiding from yourself. Mm -hmm. You're hiding the truth. Yes. Somebody is hiding the truth. Okay. You can uh, you can guarantee that because it's not set up to have the harmony that you want. The black females, their minds are set to go one way, and the black man, male man, is set to go another way. Set by whom? By racist man and racist woman. But we're not even aware of that. And we are not on the same page. And we're not going to be on the same page as long as we're in the prison system called the system of white supremacy. That's a guarantee. guarantee. You're going to have these conflicts. Mm -hmm. okay. All right? 
and you can make it work somewhat, have it workable, that's all, nowhere near what it ought to be. Okay. But you can have some type of relationship, but you got to understand it's going to be loaded with poison. Uh, yes. Loaded with poison. All of our relationships are going to be loaded with poison. Yes, sir. Because the white supremacists have made us loaded with poison. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented, and that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been... From what I understand, some people reported to me a plus, because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because... People are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.